Hey everybody, I'm Roy Canning and I grew up with Star Wars. I loved the movies, I had tons of action figures, played lots and lots of Star Wars video games. I mean, who doesn't want to be a Jedi protecting the galaxy or being a smuggler bouncing around the galaxy, dropping off bounties and things like that? Star Wars is an exciting universe and there's tons and tons of different board games in the Star Wars space. So with all these board games out there, how will you know which one is the right one for you? So here we're gonna talk about all of these different Star Wars board games and try to figure out which one is the best to fit in your collection, especially if you're a fan of the genre of Star Wars and you just want to find something that will work for you and your game group. Anyway, so we have a ton of different games here. I think I will start off with Imperial Assault. So basically what Imperial Assault is, is it is more of a dungeon crawl style Star Wars game. This game actually has several different modes you can actually play it in. It has a one versus one where you're basically having one side the Empire, the other side is the Rebellion, and you're facing off off in kind of like a skirmish mode, but the main way to play the game is a one versus all mode, where one person's kind of like the, the Empire and controlling all those characters, kind of like a Dungeon Master in D&D, but this is all Star Wars themed, and then the other player is the Rebels trying to go through and complete different missions. It has lots of tactical like combat and, and dice, dice rolling, and you're getting upgrades and going through a storyline campaign, but they have also released an app for this as well, so you can play and the all of the Empire stuff is controlled by the app and you're able to play the game cooperatively so you can play multiple players or you can even play this one solo now so you can play through all that stuff. I've really enjoyed doing a bunch of that stuff and the miniatures are really cool in this game as well. There are so many expansions for this also so this could be a huge rabbit hole you could fall down into um, trying to collect all the stuff for it. It's a little bit older of a game now so some of the mechanics might show a little bit of wear and tear but if you like chucking dice and getting rid of uh, Empire scum or basically running the game and, and trying to take down the Rebels, this is a great game for that. Um, the next one here, if you want to be a little bit more of a smuggler style game, is Star Wars Outer Rim. This is a game where you're basically hopping around the Outer Rim, picking up bounties, basically trying to go on different missions, trying to get different things. You basically are ha you're the pilot of a ship and you're controlling that ship and you're basically upgrading the ship as the game goes along, getting crew members and then finding different bounties and trying to drop those off. You're basically racing to a number of fame points, but if you have the expansion, you're actually going to be having certain objectives you have to meet before you get to that number of fame points to win the game. And there's a lot of different variety in here. Basically, this is kind of like your Star Wars sandbox like on the outer rim. So you're basically going to be a pilot jumping around and doing all that stuff. So if that sounds exciting to you, it also has the same dice chucking and a lot of crazy random luck in it as well as you're jumping around trying to do all that stuff. But it can definitely be exciting because there can be exciting, interesting stories that pop out of all the different stuff and having your different spaceships and being able to be Boba Fett or be able to be Lando Calrissian as you're doing all of those different things. Um, the next one here I want to talk about is Star Wars The Clone War. This is basically a reskin of the pandemic system, but it has a lot of interesting changes because you're actually going to be doing different missions and there's going to be more and more and more of the like like the droid robots popping up everywhere to kind of stop you. And you're basically having Sith guys jump out and you have to like take those out as well. Um, but you're going to be working cooperatively in this game as well, trying to... Um, basically knock out all of the droids so that way they don't overwhelm you. Very much pandemic style with all the different cubes coming out. Um, but you also have your own character which is going to have a special ability. You're going to be gaining more units to be able to help you with defense and attacking. I do like the fact that like in this game, normally in pandemic, you just take actions or you're moving around the board taking actions to remove um, different bad guys on here. Here you're going to be like rolling off and trying to modify that as well and then figuring out how to complete those missions to win the game. This is a very fun game, especially if you enjoy games like Pandemic, which Pandemic is a hugely successful, I know I've said it a bunch of times, but it's a hugely successful um, cooperative board game that this has been reskinned into, and this is a lot of fun. So definitely check, make sure to check out Star Wars Clone Wars. And then also, if you want to look for a two-player game, a little bit on the lighter side, um, this is the Star Wars deck building game. This is a game where you be, one side is the Rebel, the other side is the Empire, and you're basically trying to knock each other's bases out. Um, and basically you're going to be building up a deck you have a row of cards in the middle of the board and you're going to be getting those cards gaining them into your deck also you're trying to like balance the this the dark side and light side of the force which can give you different boosts on different cards and things like that there are neutral cards which both sides can recruit there are rebel cards that only the rebels can recruit but the empire can attack those cards and get special bonuses and then there are empire cards that only the empire can recruit but the rebels can attack those cards and get special bonuses this game has a fun little like tug of war and i love the 
hatchet mechanic because if you one of your base gets discovered and destroyed, then you are able to put a new base out and it gives you a buff as it comes out. So the catch up in that is really cool, letting you to thin out your deck and be able to build better combos or be able to do stuff that you can destroy their ships even better. Lots of cool stuff in the Star Wars deck building game. And this, this smaller box packs a lot of punch, especially if you're looking for a two player Star Wars experience. I, I think the Star Wars deck building game you can't go wrong with. And then if you want a gigantic two player experience for Star Wars, Star Wars Rebellion is amazing. This is kind of like the quintessential Star Wars original movies in a box. Basically, it's super asymmetrical, and, and one side is going to be the Empire, and they're trying to hunt down the Rebels, find the Rebel base, and destroy it. Then the other side is the Rebels, and they're trying to keep themselves hidden, but also trying to fulfill all these different secret missions to kind of like gain a grasp on the galaxy and trying to win people over to their side, or do secret missions to blow up Death Stars, or just do a bunch of different things to hinder the Empire as the game goes along and the game feels extremely asymmetrical as you play these things you kind of like have this hidden hit like you have to be sneaky the whole time as the rebels trying to figure out how to build up your your rebel base but also not have it be found out as the Empire just trying to storm across the galaxy tearing up everything in your wake trying to find that rebel base and destroy it and the rebels can like pack up their rebel base and move to a different planet um, and the the uh, star basically the Empire can blow up planets with the Death Star this game gives you so so much of that Star Wars feel and is so thematic and it takes an extremely long time to play but if you have a two-player game and four hours to spare or around that amount of time then Star Wars Rebellion is definitely an amazing game and experience you won't forget so these are a bunch of different Star Wars games. There's a ton others out there. Star Wars on Unlimited just came out, which is a TCG version. So if you like Magic the Gathering or Pokemon, that's that style of game you can go into. There's even things like Star Wars Love Letter, Jabba's Palace, which is also a lot of fun to play. I really enjoy all of these games. They've also all been a blast. And really, it depends on your group. Do you want to play games that are cooperative? Do you want to play games that are competitive? Do you want to play games that work with high player counts? Do you want to play games that are low player counts? It really depends on what kind of game you're playing and honestly I feel like all of these games are different enough that you might want them for different reasons anyway if you're a Star Wars fan out there let me know what your favorite Star Wars game is make sure to leave in the comments below especially if it wasn't one that I mentioned here um, I know there's other things like Star Wars Queen's Gambit which is another exciting game but it's super hard to get a hold of super interesting but it's just card play and trying to take over in different areas still very asymmetrical game um, but that one's super old school as well there's Star Wars Risk, which is a little bit lighter version of that that's fun. There's so many amazing Star Wars games out there. Make sure to tell me your best. Make sure to fight against the Empire. Maybe maybe you're, maybe you're a dark side person. Maybe you enjoy crushing the Rebellion. Whatever. Anyway, let me know in the comments below what your favorite Star Wars game is, and I'll see you on the next one. Everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you like this review or whatever you just watched, wasn't it amazing? Uh, check out our channel, Dice Tower. Uh, we have all kinds of things. We review games, we do top tens, we play games live. It's all about board games, but especially the people who play them. Check out Dice Tower YouTube channel.